welcome to our E Golden Globes Fashion Wrap. My name is Ksenia Lukic and I'm the E host for Australia. With me is celebrity makeup artist Jay Pusnobo and the E News editor Ashley Spencer. So guys, we are going through all of these wonderful looks and we're going to focus on the couples because it's all about what? Hashtag couple goals. True. Who have we got first up? Oh, I love Alison Brie and Dave Franco. She's in custom Vera Wang and I love it. She took a risk. It's like a bralette under a princess gown. I, I love this dress. I think it's beautiful. The only thing that I am drawn to when I see this um, is she's like a little bit shiny on her oh. face. Oh no, I'm all about the Jew. <laughs> the Jew in the right areas though. I'm just a bit concerned if I was looking at this, I just I think she is a bit shiny around kind However, of her teeth. She is nominated for her role on Glow. And oh, she is glowing. she's glowing. <laughs> I love the softness of the of the material against kind of the hard um, metal. And I do love how she's kept it quite soft in her beauty um, in terms of just waves and, and very natural makeup. Our next couple oh, up we have Irina Shayk and Bradley Cooper. Amazing. I mean what a power couple these two Gorgeous. are. Gorgeous. I can't fault this. Bradley yeah. Cooper is the man of the hour. I mean he directed and starred in A Star Is Born. Huge nominees for that. But he's getting completely upstaged by Irina here. She looks she, like a golden globe. I love everything about this. I love her hair. I love her makeup. I love the dress. I love the simple strappy shoe. Him? I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? I want him as Jackson Maine in A Star Is Born. I want him tanned and scruffy Some and hair, rough like he's been hair. on a bit of a bender. Yeah, yeah. I think he is he slightly too... I'd probably say he was slightly too groomed for this. It is. Are you going to go He's with the like white? He's a boy a bit. <laughs> All right, who's next? Next up, we have Ooh. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Oh, oh I love these. They I also are really love these two. Have you guys seen all those videos where it's like couple goals and they just talk about how much they love, love each other? Oh, I know. And so then I finish. They genuinely are happy. Yeah, they I look genuinely happy. happy. Even even on the red carpet, they they just are so well suited. And they have had a huge year too. They co-starred in A Quiet Place, which John also directed. And then Emily is nominated tonight for Mary Poppins Returns. She just absolutely killed it. She did. She Amazing. did. I, do I don't know about this dress. That's where this, I want to go. So this is it's what I'm... Alexander McQueen. It reportedly took over 400 hours to make. I feel like the bottom just, they ran bottom. out of time. I can see that it's very intricate and, and it would take a lot of time, but I just don't think it photographs all that well. And also, for me, on a beauty perspective, I just think it would have been nice. Her hair slightly dates it that little mm. bit um, with the twists on the side. Um, I do think she's beautiful and she still has pulled off and she looks great, but if she'd embraced a little bit more of a wave or out, hair out, I'm not loving the hair, but her face and the top part of the dress is quite yeah. stunning. John looks really good. Oh, really. John he looks great. great. Love a navy blue tux. It is still something that's very classic, but you know, we're, we're still getting a little bit of a twist. So this is Carrie Russell and Matthew Reese from The Americans, both nominated tonight, and they are a real life couple as well. Carrie Russell, I feel like, is a very beautiful woman, and I she do is. quite like this kind of 2000s Paris Hilton gown <laughs> that she's got going on. I actually love her natural hair. She's got quite oh, the curly, curly hair. hair. Oh. I wouldn't mind seeing her blonde with this. And, and again, another man in a black tie. Well, Come on, guys. And facial hair. I think he's taken now it to the extreme. Krasinski <laughs> had the beard done right, and now we've gone a bit much like we've been in a cabin in the woods. There's a real trend, though, at the moment for men's bow ties mm. where they're exceedingly floppy. Do we like it? How do we it, feel? It can be really exaggerated and a little bit clowny, but when done correctly, it's pretty mm. chic. Oh, your phone strong. Oh, yeah, your phone. An Aussie girl Shit. who is nominated for her role on The Handmaid's Tale. And, and her, her husband. Tim Logan oh, is his name. <laughs> Yvonne had a baby three months yeah, ago. She so looks can we just first great. Of all give her she a She looks back back amazing. She is beautiful yeah. and she looks very radiant. I love seeing and her with her hair down mom. because on the show as it's Serena always. Joy, she's like so pinned back and uptight. And so I like seeing her a bit more having fun with her look. We're very proud of her fellow Aussie, you know, doing us very proud on the Golden Globes. She's Globe incredible Scarlet. on that show. That is all for our couples for the 2019 Golden Globes. For more Golden Globes looks, head to eonline.com forward slash au.